Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, uh, one more concept in our HTML5 that is the audio tag and uh, video tag. So one difference, the major difference between HTML4 and HTML5 is supporting of audio and video in a web browser. So HTML5 supports this audio and video and for that we are having a tags called audio tag and video tag. So video tag so this is to place the video on web and uh, audio and this is also to place audio on web page and commonly both are having a one attribute called i mean one tag called source which is used to locate the position or the path of audio or video file so one attribute for this source attribute of source tag is src where we have to provide the location so where we have to provide location or a path of both audio or video files and uh, attributes attribute of uh, video so that is a first one one is a controls which will display the controls on the page so i'll ex execute everything and i'll show you and the second one is loop so to repeat video or audio after completion so once it was completed again it will start okay that is called a loop that means a repetition infinite repetition right <clears throat> next a muted so which will mute the video or audio and the fourth one poster and this is for a video tag so which will display the poster until user play the video and the next one controls loop muted poster yes so we'll see this one and also yes uh, width and uh, height yes so this is also meant for a video tag so we can specify the required width and required height of a video player okay so display the size of video player so this can be used for video tag okay so we'll see all these things by executing a small uh, program so first let us start with a uh, html so this is html5 okay and uh, i'll close the tag before writing the content i'll go with a body tag directly so inside the body we have to write down the video tag so video and inside the video again we have to write the source right so inside the source we have to write the one attribute called src is equal to here we have to locate the video file right so i am taking this intro so this is a video file we just want to locate okay we need to display this one so i'll copy this path so right click here and go to the properties so here you can observe the complete location see here there is a location so just to copy the location i'll copy the location and the file name is intro.mp4 <coughs> excuse me mp4 so save this file uh, i'll save that one in on desktop so av.html audio video.html so let us see so here we got the browser so just open this file and you can observe so one 
length is created one size is here but there is no video okay there is no video so unless you give the controls attribute you can't see the controls on the player so if you see so this controls is on the video at video tag so i have given here a video controls and now you can observe the control is available here right so this is a control so if you want to increase the size you can use a video uh, width and height right so width is equal to some 800 or 700 height is equal to some 700 so save this one and again refresh see the width has been somewhat increased okay so like this we can use a width and height see yes so controls so just you, you play this one automatically the video will be played you can observe now here so we have is the you can see you can listen to the music right next see and if you use a loop okay if you use a loop see before uh, refreshing so as i play here after completion of complete seconds the video will be stopped right the video will be stopped so if I use this loop attribute in the video tag, now refresh, you can observe. So after completion of the 60 seconds, again, it will start playing from the beginning. You can observe. I have not uh, clicked on this play button, but continuously it will move. Again, once it was completed, again, it will start uh, playing the video. So that is the use of uh, this loop. And the next one, muted muted so the sound will be muted so muted is a one attribute so refresh and you can observe here the volume is default mute so if you play here see you will get no sound only the video will be played here okay so in the absence of this muted attribute you can observe if i refresh see it was enabled so whenever you play this video you will get the audio also you get the audio also right hope you understood right controls loop muted and also poster see for example yes so i refresh this one you can observe this is a blank page okay blank uh, image displayed here on the video so if i want to use any other image i will go with the poster okay the attribute called a poster and here link the poster here so on my desktop i am having the poster see yes this is a poster logo.jpg uh, i'll copy this one so i'll go with the copy as path or you can go to the properties and you can open it and you can simply paste here see i have given logo.jpg now i will refresh the page you can observe you will not get the blank uh, display so you'll get that image until you press the play button okay until you press the play button so whatever the image you have linked to the poster attribute that image will be displayed here so whenever you just play click on the play button the video will be played okay so this is how you can insert the video into the web page insert a video into a web page right and the next one is the audio so that's also same I'll, I'll install, I mean, I will use a audio tag here. So the syntax is same, but the tag is different audio and uh, so in that audio, we again, we have to use a source and SRC is equal to. So look at the complete file. So on the desktop, I am having, see, this is a music.mp3. So I just want to place this music.mp3 on a web page. So right click on this one, copy as path and open the source code. Open the source code. So paste it here, right? Now you can refresh this one. Just a second. Yes, okay. So we have not given the controls. So just give the attribute called control so that it will be displayed on the page. 
so unless you give the control you, the audio file will not be displayed so in the absence of these controls the audio file is not visible so you can observe uh, once again i'm removing these controls so previously we have not given the controls so that's why the controls are not visible on the web page so this is a mandatory so if you want to display the audio uh, player so you need to give the controls and here you can observe again if you play so you can listen to the music here and the similar attribute so that will be repeated only once until you give the attribute called loop so if you use a loop automatically once it was done so yes so once so you can observe so uh, until you click on that pass so it will keep on repeating the audio file right so that we that's we call it as a loop okay that we call it as a loop so one more attribute muted that is also similar to our video so once if you use this muted attribute so you can observe the audio will be mute and if you, even you, you click on the play so the music will be played but uh, you can't hear that because it is only mute option the mute option is enabled right so by default the mute option will be enabled and if you click on this one the so automatically so the mute option will, will be disabled and automatically we can hear the music right so this is the tags audio tag and a video tag in order to play the video file or a audio file on the web page right so hope you understood this uh, session and if you are having any uh, queries and if you are having any trouble playing the video or audio in the web page please feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much